our time in Kenya, we travel to the center of the country, to the Samburo region. If there's one thing this area lacks, it's water. So we made it our goal to understand the difference water can make by visiting several villages that had received a well from the Samburo project. With the help of Lucas, the program manager for the Samburo project, we had a rare opportunity to be introduced to the members of the Samburo community so that they could tell their story. The Samburo people are pastoralists, meaning that they tend herds of cows, goats, and even camels. They traditionally live in a manada, which is the Swahili word for settlement. The Samburo area receives peak rainfall during early April to late May, the long rains, and mid-October to mid-December, the short rains. Dry conditions usually prevail outside of these times. During our time in Samburo, we visited five wells. At the third well, we had the opportunity to interview one of the women leaders in the community. Her name is Nogyese. She's seen in the village since the well was was built. Kijama, I'm a big to Monday at the Lubushi. Come Sadi, when I knew to do a year as first one. What are they? The first change that I saw since we had this well is that the community, myself included, was healthy. Before, we used to take contaminated water, but this well water is very clean. As a result, we don't have a problem with disease right now. We women are able to be at home with our children, and small kids have time for school. While this nursery school is under a tree, with the help of others, we hope to have a permanent structure in the future. We are very, very happy because the water that we are using is very clean. From here, we moved on to the next well. This one had been built just a year ago. By chance, we met Michael, the son of the village elder. Even though the well was a recent addition, we heard much the same story. Before the well, there was a lot of time spent in search of water. We specifically asked about school enrollment. We were told before the well was built, there were 30 children enrolled. Now there are 86. On the following day, we decided to walk a portion of the route that one of the women from the Lamoy village follows to get water. Mary leaves her manada at 7 a.m. and doesn't return till 2 p.m. She does this every other day. Her village has applied for a well, but their application is on the waiting list with many others because of funding. How many we also had a chance to speak to the chief of the Lemoy village about the challenges of his people. 3,000 households? Yeah. Wow. So that's way more people than that. Yeah. When we were talking earlier, you mentioned some of the cows that would normally be here are not here, and the men are not here. They're far away. Yeah. Why is that? Because of now, let's say, the problem of water. The animals have no water, and they should have to take it where they can get water. How far is that away? Almost. 100 kilometers away from here because it's in the side of Maralal. And, and two years ago there was a severe drought in there this area. There was a severe drought in this and, area. And what happened as a result? In fact, the, the livestock were wiped away by the drought. The, the, the only bank they have is just these animals, the, the cows, the goats and the camels. That's their bank. And when the drought comes, they, it wiped it away. Wow. And they, <laughs> there's nothing they remain with. So even now you still feel the effects of, of that drought yeah, two years still, ago? Yeah, we are still. We are still. To date, the Samburo project has drilled over 40 wells, providing clean, safe drinking water for 40,000 people. If you would like to learn more about the Samburo people and the project that is doing so much to meet their needs, you can do so at their website. Thanks.